Hi there, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial with psdbox.com. My name is Andre and in this tutorial I will uh, show you how you can adjust uh, color using the selective color adjustment layer. Uh, this adjustment layer is not uh, the first choice of beginner uh, Photoshop users and they usually go with uh, hue saturation or color balance for when it comes to adjusting colors but uh, I will show you how you can get better results with uh, selective coloring uh, because this adjustment layer allows you to um, change colors based on color channels not in luminosity values for example uh, like color balance does um, I'm actually writing the text tutorial for this. Um, I will post it. So if you if you're watching this uh, tutorial from my website, uh, it will be under the, the video. And if you're watching it from YouTube, uh, there's a link on the on the description of the video to that uh, post on my website. So I will go ahead and add this uh, selective color adjustment layer and I will start uh, talking about the difference between this and hue saturation for example and why you can use this in situations where adjustment other adjustment layers like uh, color balance or hue saturation won't work um, hue saturation uh, I will add it here uh, you also have some channels here but this is more more useful if you want to change uh, a particular color or to decrease the saturation or increase it. Uh, but it doesn't work very well if you want if you want to adjust the color if you want to correct it. So color balance, uh, where is it? Color balance works the same. It's better than hue saturation for adjusting color but it's still in some situation it still doesn't work as well as color as, as selective color because you only have you're restricted to these three channels to these uh, three tones shadows mid tones and highlights um, so there are situations where you want to adjust the color but not affecting anything else on the scene like i have here uh, my goal is to adjust the skin tone to make it more natural and remove this uh, green cast uh, but leave the background intact so let's open selective color and as you can see here you have uh, you have a lot of channels here and so you're not restric restricted to those uh, to shadows, midtones, and highlights, like for example in the uh, color balance, you also have them here in case you want to adjust those as well. But you have all these channels here, and for each of these channels, you have the same sliders, which I'm I will try to explain how they work because uh, many many users don't know how this works, and that's why they used to to mess up the image just doing some crazy stuff not knowing what they're doing so you can easily ruin the image if you don't know what you're doing so as i said i want to make the skin look more natural and remove that green the greenish cast you can see on it this is image uh, is exactly how I took it from the internet so I didn't edit it at all I just increased a bit the saturation so that you can see that green cast better so this is how it works you have three color channels right here for uh, for for each of this channel you have these sliders so so you can understand it better you have these three sliders for each channel and the fourth slider right here is the it's actually a luminosity value i'm gonna demonstrate how it works uh, right here on the 
text tutorial I have a little illustration of how these sliders work because this is a confusing part for some people uh, on the cyan slider if you add positive values like you see here you increase cyan obviously that's the name here cyan on the magenta if you go positive you increase magenta and on yellow you increase yellow if you go with positive values if you go with negative values this is where it, you have to memorize this because it works absolutely the same in curves and in levels as well as long as you're in RGB space it always works the same so the opposite of cyan is red as you can see here so if you add negative values of cyan you're actually adding red if you go negative on the magenta slider you get green and if you go negative on the yellow you get blue so again the opposite of um, of cyan is red the opposite of magenta it's green and the opposite of um, yellow it's blue so let's go back to our image and since we're the question is what channel you select to adjust your whatever you're adjusting in my case I'm adjusting skin color so I know that skin is made mostly of yellow and reds because that's what skin is made of it's orange it's in, except when you're working with models that have dark skin but I guess it still works the same so I'm going first with the yellows and my main my main objective is to remove that yellow and uh, that green sorry so if you remember this green it's on the magenta so I have to increase magenta in order to reduce green so I'm gonna do just that increase magenta by let's say 20% so what I did here is it, I added 20% magenta and removed 20% green and let's go the same on the reds increase magenta by I don't know I'm going by I here 15 okay and from now on I just play here with the sliders to see what I what I can get I want to make it more colder see like that add some red by reducing cyan and let's go on the yellows channel and let's see if we add more yellow see here on the on the hair if we make it blue it doesn't really look good so add some yellow and also add a bit of cyan 15 percent well actually I'm going to add more red like that add the black slider this is a luminosity value if you increase black you increase contrast on the yellow channels and only on the yellows because this is the channels that you have selected if you reduce black you're increasing luminosity so you can see it, it looks a lot brighter now I'm going for something like this minus 9 so I, I increase the luminosity uh, let's add more red and actually I think I'm going for more yellow here and more magenta something like that the important thing to notice here is, is that the background is unaffected because we only worked on yellows and reds and this wall is gray maybe has some cyan and blue on it uh, if I'm going on the blue channels for example if I make any crazy edits here nothing is not the image is not affected because there's virtually no reds a hey, no blue sorry well actually I see something here yeah this is blue this dress is blue so a dark blue as I can see so only that changes but if you make any 
edit here by mistake and you have more objects here that are blue for example you can use the layer mask and actually let's go with something crazy here so that you can see better oh, okay and I get the brush tool and with black I paint over it and it's gone now this adjustment layer is not affecting that area because I masked it uh, we only have a bit of cyan in the eyes uh, you can increase cyan to make the eyes but it's almost well here you can see a bit more of effect I made them a bit more saturated also notice that when you when you increase the black you increase a bit the saturation not by much but let me add more red here on the reds I already did that so let's see the before and after quite a quite a change I would say so as you can see you can easily correct color and get any color you want if you know this if you know what you're doing what sliders what what you can do with the sliders and oops you can see that the hair is nice and and blonde and the, the skin now it's a bit more orange looking rather than this green here so it's a lot better I would say so I hope this helps you and just go open Photoshop and practice by yourself and I will post this article so that you can see this illustration. You memorize this and you're good to go. So see you on the next tutorial.